poetics is a stubborn resistance to any attempt at clarifying the matter. A poetic that is thickened by a H launches an exploration of art significance as not just about a form of living in the real world. It's thickened with an ethos of valuing the random confluences in everyday life. I'm Rhea Dillon and I'm an artist from South London. I've been looking at distinguishing the difference between poetics and poetics as two words that circulate both my work, work that I'm interested in and friends that I'm in consistent conversation with. The roots within my practice that are always present no matter what show or piece is presented at that time are looking at the roots of a diasporic blackness I guess to say so that would be thinking about the triangular trade you know that's the beginning of, of a black movement and then thus this new word that we have which is the diaspora that um, existed as a result of that movement and so black movement is always potently there even if it's not spoken to in every single, um, you know, utterance of the piece. I was thinking about what could be a, a flag for the diaspora, like there's flags all the time and everywhere that denote, you know, like borders, boundaries and territories and trying to traverse and, and erase that. But then also thinking to that, I'm like, what, what could that be? And I play to those questions in my practice, I guess. From the text that I've been reading, I've been naturally revisiting Francoise Vergesse's work. I've been heavily being informed by De Silva's reference and, and description of, you know, like a black feminist poetic as well, and, and using all of those and converging them all together into, into how that applies to a black Britishness, right? Which is obviously where we are now and what I'm part of. Um, and so, and so going to this like expression, I guess, that I use that is like, what happens when we land? Like, and what happened when we landed? Um, and so that to me speaks to a, a black movement. I feel like I'm not necessarily focusing on it in like a, a, a um, bodily sense, but I'm tracing the history. The bus seats to me are thinking about a post Windrush age, which is what we're in now. So thinking about black labor and black service heard. Burgess has a really great um, line, which um, talks about the capitalist Talisine rests on the visible invisibility of, of, of blackness. And I heavily believe in that. I kind of see my poetry as more poetics than poetry. Um, and then that's to say to, you know, speaking to this like thickening of like the everyday convergences of, of existence and, and movement and time and, and merging that or looking at how poetics is a deeper, I guess, deeper mode of, of thinking and reasoning. I think because I've always been an avid reader, words are just part of my desires, I guess. Those conversations that I can always have with myself and with the reader, theorist, informant, narrator has always been a place of home.